Well, they are on pins and needles in Petersburg, or so it seems. So, so. so yeah, <laughs> national fashion competition will be decided this week, and uh, a local student's future looms on the outcome. We have this yarn in a fashionable <laughs> building better minds. <laughs> um, it's like, okay, their light bulb went off. Now my train is up. We're going. Hop on. I'm, I'm going to put you under my wing and we're going to make this happen. That's perfect. Can you tell Miss Newton Bowling has a passion for fashion? It's rubbed off on rising 11th grader Angel Harrison and her train is running all the way to San Diego for a national competition. I won first place in the state fashion competition. Basically, I had to make a gown collection and then sell it to the panel. And the panel bought in big time. She's the first student from Petersburg to make it to the high school fashion design national competition. Not bad for someone who didn't know fashion basics just a couple of years ago. We actually started and she was like, oh, I'm going to take this class and see what I can come up with. And from there, she came in and was like, are you sure you have never sewn before? Angel came up with something unique, Kitrapiki, which is Swahili for tropical. I based my whole gown collection off the tropical rainforest because they're most endangered habitat on Earth. And so my whole collection is based off animals and plants out of the tropical rainforest. It stretches out. It helps learning from a fashion industry vet like Miss Newton Bowling who will tell you it takes more than needles and thread to succeed. It's not just sitting at a sewing machine. So showing them the digital artwork, showing them where they can um, turn their designs into something that somebody else would want and how to make money doing that. A dress for success also involves teamwork. Omar, he helped me because he's like, he can do like the digital artwork and stuff and he has the good materials, so he helped on that part. A passion for fashion is building great clothing designs and building better minds. Great. Yeah. So excited. Uh, by the way, Angel arrived in San Diego yesterday. The results will be released this weekend. And of course, we wish her the best of luck. Yes, we do. Well, we want to hear about inspiring people in your school. Dominate someone for building better minds. Send an email to news tips at WTVR.com. Nominate anyone you think makes a difference in our local schools. And here's a look at